All right, in this video, I wanna show quickly how to test electrical breaker. So yes, we have a two pole here. It doesn't matter what you have. If you have a single pole, but you have a, you're just uncertain if your breaker is working or not, because sometimes people have an issue where they don't have a power to, to their devices and they're not sure if, if there is a short or not. So we will need a voltage, I mean voltmeter to test the voltage, okay? And we're gonna need a flathead screwdriver. That's all we need. We don't need anything else, okay? So very first step, we're gonna remove the cover of the electrical panel. You gotta be very careful. Again, safety is very first. So make sure you remove the, um, make sure you have your safety glasses on. Make sure when you are working with devices like this, I mean, this is not elect, this is not electrician screwdriver, okay? This is not electrician screwdriver. It's just for demonstration purposes only. We usually have a basically um, screwdriver that has all this isolated and only the bit is open when we are working with in, inside of the electrical panel. Uh, when we open the panel, we will see this situation. If it's single pole, you will have one wire, basically hot wire line going into electrical breaker or if it's a double pole like this, you will have two wires going in, okay? Sometimes two black, sometimes one black, one red, okay? So when you have the breaker, so if you are not able to turn on the breaker, sometimes like you try to turn it on, you see, you hear this clicking sound, and then it goes right back. So usually that's what, what, what it means is usually you have a short in the circuit, okay? So to know 100% if that's the case, well, what we can do, we can just remove the wiring, okay? Put a wire nut, set it aside on the panel, uh, remove this as well, set it on the side, put a wire nut on that wire, and we try to turn it on. If we tr turn it on, if you try to turn it on, if it stays on, next step would be to put it on a volt AC, okay? And then what we're gonna do, if it's a single pole, one terminal, we're gonna touch the, um, this screw that we removed the wire from, we're gonna touch this terminal, and then with the, another terminal of the voltmeter, we're gonna touch the on panel, let's say ground, okay? Or neutral, whatever. And we wanna see if, if it reads 120, 125. If that's the case, breaker is working, okay? You have a short circuit somewhere in the, I mean, inside of your devices, wherever this line is going. So let's say if you have only one circuit that you're having a trouble with, okay? So that's the problem. And then another step, right? So you, you have a breaker that comes on, it is on, but you don't know if it's, um, but it's n nothing's working. So let's say in this case, I mean, I just pulled it out from customer's place. That's why I'm making it. She wasn't sure if it's a short or not. So let's say if it turns on, it is staying on, but you don't have a power. Again, we're gonna need a voltmeter. Uh, while this thing is on, we will, if it's double pole, we're gonna t measure these two terminals see if we have a 240 volts here, okay? If we don't, breaker is bad. And then we're gonna test each terminal. We're gonna touch this, 125. We're gonna touch this. We need to get a 125 when we touch the, this one goes through any ground on the panel, okay? So in that case, you know 100% uh, if you, I mean, if you have a voltage when it's turning on and it's reading, I mean, breaker is all good. Again, if it's not letting you to turn on and let's say if it's a double pole like this, again, we will just remove this wiring, okay? And we're gonna do it all the time. You're gonna remove this wiring all the time when breaker is off, okay? Don't, don't try to remove it when it's on. And be careful, don't touch this part as well. You're gonna get shocked you're gonna get burnt, uh, it's very dangerous. So when you're trying to remove it, just careful. So if it's double pole, same situation. It's not turning on when you try to turn it on, goes back, 
even after removing the wire which means this is our load okay once we remove the load completely and we try to turn it on it just doesn't turn on that means this breaker is bad it has to come off and it, it needs to be replaced and it's taking off it's pretty easy you just put the screwdriver slide a bit here and then you just pull it and it will just come off okay and you just slide it off you can see this just slides into the bar and then this just snaps onto the bus bars okay so very simple testing of electrical breaker um, i hope it helps somebody and when you try to purchase a new one you will take a look at the you can take this with you to the store or you can take a look at the mounting types it's usually written somewhere in the in the breaker what type of amount it is because sometimes breakers are interchangeable even though it has like it, it can be two different models brands let's say GE and Siemens I mean those can be sometimes they will have a same mount and it will fit so that's why either way you can take it to the store with you and try to pick something similar to replace it and when you try to replace it as well make sure when you bring it home and try to put it on make sure this is off and then you put it on once you put it on you put the wires first you wire it first you tighten the wires and then you turn it on okay so hope it helps thanks for watching see you in the next one